Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I have an HP Pavilion that um, it has a cracked LCD. I don't know if we can get that on camera, but the, the crack is over here and it is from those two dents. And then we've got a new panel here to install. Well, it's new to me anyway. Um, and we're gonna use some real basic tools. So let's see if we can get this guy open. This is the 15. This guy's a plastic pry bar. The other one that I saw that I actually really liked that someone else did to use as a jimmy on this was like a, a credit card. That can work too. That's a spot that doesn't want to go. Okay. There we go. Got the front lid. just like that. Now, when I opened this up before, I changed out the hard drive to a solid state. I'm just noticing there's an M2 in here. Um, this particular model that I'm working with has a space for two fans. However, it only has one populated. And I think that has to do with the lack of a discrete graphics card. Take note, there is a ribbon cable. Here's your hinge, there's a little ribbon cable here, so when you're trying to get this off, you just gotta be careful along that side. Now, we're missing a screw, so that's awesome. So over here, I've got a fatter ribbon cable and then an antenna. This laptop only has four screws left in here. So I'm gonna open it part way and hang it over the edge so I can get this off. Um, we'll see if I can get a view of this guy. screen a little bit. I'm just hanging it over the edge of a table and we're gonna find where these cables go.
cable is meant to keep it in place, and I think these pop up. No, it must stay. <laughs> yeah. It's a little flap. So pop it up, and then the cable comes out. It looks like that's all ready to go. And this is the other side. This has got to be the other side. The cable over there is so much thicker though. So we're just going to lift this off a little bit. Okay, it looks like this is the one that's connected. So... One little connection there. Oh, I think it turned on. bump the power button or something normally you would want to disconnect the battery but I'm running a quick the quick and dirty style <laughs> All right, so there's... All right. now before I turn it on excuse me before I put the bottom on I'm gonna test to make sure it wants to turn on Power button there. HP logo is a good sign. Just a couple little, uh, couple adjustments to the uh, to the machine here. So again, make sure you connect up that Wi-Fi, and then the display cable. Those are the two main things after you deal with the screws. Other than that, pretty simple repair. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, this is basically the same teardown to do the solid state drive or add in an M.2 drive. Looks like it's got space for it. Um, and on the bottom of this guy, maybe I should have mentioned this at the beginning. The model number is model 15-CS0053CL. And so that is for comparison. This is a 15 inch pavilion. It's around a 2015, somewhere in that range. So just to give you an idea, and then I'm going to do the reverse and put the bottom cover back on. I'm going to, I'm going to pressure clamp these in before I start doing the screws. <laughs> uh. 
those screw holes do matter. It looks like it was only missing one screw. I'm gonna take all these off and put the right ones back in. You can't put it in that corner. Thanks for watching.